Hi, so I'm Gian, and for my mini lecture for chapter 9, my topic is going to be to define the term attention as it relates to the performance of motor skills. So, to start, attention refers to certain aspects associated with cognitive, perceptual, and motor activities that establish the limits of the performance of our motor skills. So, in other words, attention is associated with all of our sensations. The perceptual aspect refers to our sensory systems. The cognitive aspect of attention refers to how we process that sensory information and including any other information that we might receive and eventually utilize. And lastly, there's the motor activities aspect associated with attention, which is how we function and react to the environment and all the stimuli within it. But like I said earlier, there are limits to our attention. And these limitations to our attention capacity affect the performance of a skill when we do more than one activity at the same time. This is where multitasking comes into play when it comes to the perform performance of motor skills. Multitasking refers to the performance of more than one task at a time. And when we simultaneously perform multiple tasks, we're often unable to perform all these tasks as well as we could if we were doing them all one at a time. An example of this in a physical or sports setting would be like, say, in a basketball drill. If a basketball player were just dribbling the ball with no external distractions, chances are they'd do that pretty easily. But if a trainer were to throw a tennis ball to their offhand and, and expect them to catch it while dribbling with their other hand, now the player is doing more than one task at a time, which is considered multitasking. And the importance of this example is that although the player might not necessarily experience difficulties in performing the tasks, they would almost certainly not be able to perform the task, the tasks as well as they would like. And this is all because attention is a performance limiting factor. This means that we only have so much attention that we could spare. And because of this limited supply of attention, it's going to limit the amount of things that we could do and perform at one time. And this can be in the context of the performance of motor skills or something as commonplace as, say, like trying to write a coherent, good quality essay with your favorite music blasting in the background, which basically limits how well you can perform that task or write that essay. So I hope that gives you guys a good understanding of the term attention and how it relates to the performance of motor skills. Thank you so much for listening.